We had the sunshine this morning, and then the cloud cover yeah. kind of increased this afternoon. We expected it. The heat is on the rise. Humidity is increasing, and the winds are kind of breezy too. South winds at 14. Dallas is sitting at 74 degrees right now. You can see that cloud cover on first alert satellite and radar, especially for the metroplex and areas out to the east. But to the west, what we're kind of watching for some severe storms already developing. Now this is well into West Texas. It's the area that the Storm Prediction Center had highlighted for the greatest threat of severe weather in Texas today. Level two slight risk. We talked about these storms tracking east, trying to maintain their strength, but running into the cap here in North Texas. So we're expecting any storms that work their way into our western counties to weaken and eventually dissipate. We do not expect any stormy weather in the metroplex overnight. It's just our western counties that may see one of these weakening storms. And Stevens and Young County got put under a severe thunderstorm watch until 10 o'clock tonight. I think we start to watch probably around 7 30, 8 o'clock. So here we look at first alert future cast into the next hour. Still just that cloud cover, especially along into the east of 35. Here we are at 8 o'clock, and you do see out towards Breckenridge a little rain trying to work its way in, but these storms were severe out west. They have weakened as they've moved into a more capped environment, a less favorable environment. So 10 o'clock, you've got a few showers to the south and west, and otherwise we're just kind of cloudy, and that will be the case tomorrow. A good bit of cloud cover to start off the day, and rain chances pretty low at 20%. So partly sunny. We've got a high of 81 tomorrow, mostly cloudy on Thursday with a high of 81 as well. But the storm chances start to pick up Thursday night and then Friday, uh, one of several days that we are watching for the threat of severe storms. We're into severe weather season here in North Texas. It is what it is. We're into late April now. So we're watching a several day stretch where there's the threat for severe storms each day, especially looking at Friday, Saturday, and potentially into Sunday for parts of North Texas as well. But because we're so far out, this is a very complex forecast with a lot of moving parts. The timing each and every day and the specific threats are limited right now. We're talking to you on Tuesday about weather that we're expecting on Friday. So a lot is going to change between now and then. Right now, just kind of based on what we're seeing, all types of severe weather would be possible, but we can't pinpoint the exact locations yet. What it does look like is more heavy rain is forecast over a several day period. So Storm Prediction Center highlighting pretty much all of North Texas on Friday, areas along into the west of 35 on Saturday, and then areas along into the east of 35 on Sunday. So severe threat is there each and every day. And then we have to talk about the flooding threat as well. We had a drenching rain this past Saturday, and now once again, Again, looking at another one to three inches of rain accumulating over several days, kind of starting late Thursday, continuing through Sunday, and the rain chances are still at about 20 to 30 percent for Monday and Tuesday of next week. This is April here in North Texas, guys. <laughs> A surplus of rain. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Aaron.